Hello guys, this is your monthly reading for November. This reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. I'm going to jump right into this. Capricorn. Please show me messages for Capricorn for the month of November. What is the energy currently around Capricorn? Please show me. Energy around Capricorn. Three of Wands. You're waiting on something. Waiting on someone. Waiting to hear some news. Aries energy here. Someone from the past. I feel like you guys have been corresponding with someone, trying to reach out to someone, and um, you're you're waiting on an answer or a response here. What's crossing my Capricorns? What's crossing my Capricorns? Okay, I flipped over two cards here. We have King of Swords. Oh, and a Queen of Swords. You guys are at odds. Not seeing eye to eye. But you're coming as a king and a queen of swords. There's a separation here. You guys have your backs to each other. Rather, you guys have your back to this person. Um, for some reason, you're not getting along. Both of you are very strong. Both of you... Um, tend to you know think more logically versus using your heart in situations here Gemini Libra Aquarius energy that is so funny <laughs> how I just happen to pull two cards and they're the king and the queen of swords I feel like what's challenging you guys is actually to have an adult conversation and not send little cryptic messages is what I'm getting here, okay? What is the underlying issue here for Capricorn? Underlying issue. Chariot. Moving forward. Letting bygones be bygones for the sake of the greater good. Is what the issue is here. Because the Three of Wands is like actively waiting, like doing little things, planting little seeds, putting something out there, and then waiting on a return. Um, so the underlying issue here is basically you not actively going for what you know, okay? Because I feel like there is a time, there, as a matter of fact, all of the time, the law of attraction comes into play. Okay, but there's a difference I feel in using the law of attraction and being just, you know, blatantly just stubborn, bullheaded. So I think for you guys to actually like be an active participant in what it is that you want here, and I feel like it's definitely this one on one relationship. Cancer is the house of partnerships, okay. So you guys need to turn around and face each other and actually act like partners and communicate is what I'm getting here, okay? What's coming in, what's coming in, recent past for, okay, Capricorn, sideways, Queen of Pentacles here. Things are a little bit off. I think you're trying to get back on track. I think that, um, you know, the sideways is spun out like this. I feel like it's hard for you to um, take certain things just laying down or feeling like you're taking things laying down when actually you're not. Um, you're just kind of being a bigger person. Now, this is you being a bigger person, okay? But this is you basically being in your feelings in the recent past and really not doing everything that you feel like. Um, can be done in this situation. I feel like this whole little thing has thrown you off and you're really out of character here as the Queen of Swords. You're out of character, but I feel like you're trying to get on the same footing as this, this King of Swords, you know, an eye for an eye sort of thing. So you trying to give them dish out you know, what they are actually dishing out to you has got you sideways, has had you sideways in the past, like not living up to your full potential here, okay? Crown of Thoughts for Capricorn. Capricorn.
more is crowning thoughts. Six of Swords, I know it. You want to work things out. You want to talk things through. You want to smooth things over. Because you don't like being sideways. You want to be upright. <laughs> you want to be standing in your full power. And you don't want to be going, you know, tit for tat with somebody. You know, if they're normally arrogant, you don't want to come across as arrogant because I don't think that's your true nature. Um, and so it's just kind of like two bulls just butting heads. Okay, so I'm definitely getting that you guys, you know, want, are wanting to talk things out and smooth things over with this person because you want to be successful. Whether or not, when I say talk things out, smooth things over, um, if this is not somebody you plan on being with, then talking things out is basically, you know, coming to an amicable um, agreement that you guys agree to disagree and then you go your separate ways or either this could be talking things out to work things out so you can come back together as a couple so either way whatever that means for you guys okay what's coming in for capricorn ten of wands still something weighing very heavily on you um sagittarius energy here I feel like you guys will get to a point where regardless of how this other person is acting, you're going to stand up and be the bigger person, okay? And take responsibility for yourself, not for them, not for what they've done, but I see you taking responsibility for yourself. Now the thing is, you know, don't just eat shit just to smooth things over with this person that is not what i'm saying okay so please don't do that please don't do that okay but i see you actually taking responsibility just take responsibility for what it is that you actually feel like you're responsible for no more no less okay guys let's see how is capricorn viewing their situation Six of Cups. You guys miss this person. You feel like this is your soulmate. You guys have known each other for a while. You spend a lot of time together. Um, you may even have kids with this person, grandkids with this person, even um, if you're a young grandparent. Um, but you definitely feel like, you know, this situation with this person goes beyond just having emotions for them. You, you feel something um, so much stronger than just liking somebody you feel like this person is like your family here okay Scorpio energy you miss them I definitely get that you definitely miss this person I feel like they miss you too they're stubborn they're stubborn little shit <laughs> let's see what is the influence here for Capricorn Judgment. Everybody's getting judgment. Lots of people getting judgment today. You feel like you there needs to be a change. There needs to be um, a, a reckoning in this situation, a rebirth in this situation here. Something needs to change. Period. And you know you have to be the deciding factor, is what I'm getting, in order to spearhead this change. Again, Scorpio energy. Some of you guys may be on the cusp of Scorpio or Sagittarius. Hopes or fears for Capricorn. Did I say cusp with Scorpio? Of course you're not. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm looking at the Ten of Wands here, Sagittarius. I meant Sagittarius. Scorpio energy here. You may have Scorpio in your chart for sure, but you know, at any given time, we can exhibit any of the different um, uh, aspects or personality traits of each sign, honestly. Hopes or fears for Capricorn. Hopes or fears for Capricorn. Page of Swords. Hmm. Page of Swords as a hope or a fear 
you know, the Page of Swords doesn't say a lot. They mostly observe. They don't say a whole lot. Um, so I'm getting that your hope is that you will be able to to be heard, um, to speak up, to say what it is that you need to say. And your hope is also that this person will not be a smart ass when you do say what it is that you need to say and get stuff off of your chest. I think that's the issue here. You have a smart ass on your hands. Let's see. The overall outcome here for Capricorn. Overall outcome for Capricorn. Knight of Wands. Somebody's coming in. Somebody is coming in hot and heavy here. And I feel like this is you. Um, I feel like, you know, you're coming in to basically have this conversation because this is what you've, you've been thinking about here. Having a conversation with this person. Either you guys are going ahead and making the decision to go ahead and have this conversation to air things out. Or there is a Sagittarius that's... Um, coming in for you guys or somebody with this type of energy that you know they make decisions like that and they go because it could definitely be you guys are thinking the same thing like I need to go ahead and and have a conversation to smooth things over so while you're thinking about okay I need to go talk to them I need to just hash this out this person may beat you to the punch Okay, so that is what I have for you guys and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now.